or what it is dudes what it is this is a flashback friday to one of the most embarrassing moments of my life so apparently i made cash mad one night that we were hanging out and as you can see she didn't leave but while we were dancing she repeatedly knocked me down and tried to say it was an accident i mean cash bullied me so if you guys want to send her an email and ask her why she bullied me but anyway that was the last straw i decided from that day i had to learn how to fight i just i had to learn begin hypnosis subscribe like and comment to zero chill do it now subscribe to zero chill that is all dudes and hypnosis you dudes asked for it you dudes got it zero chill gear is now available i've got t-shirts hoodies long sleeve tees stickers tank tops and there is more to come be sure to pick yours up now i will be posting links shortly peace a lot of you have played games like uh, Tekken or like Street Fighter. And in Street Fighter you have Blanca, in Tekken you have Eddie Gordo. And they look like they're dancing, almost kind of like they're break dancing. This is actually a Brazilian martial art, an African slash Brazilian martial art called Capoeira. And uh, here with the Rio update, Lockwood has added at least three new capoeira dances or three new dances that are all capoeira themed. Let's see here. So if you go to new or if you check out, excuse me, if you check out the animations, here we've got the capoeira dance, the dangerous dance, and the dance of strength. And so capoeira, capoeira basically is the Dance of Death. It was inspired by slaves that were uh, brought over from Africa towards Brazil. And these slaves needed a way to defend themselves. Problem was, they in general had their hands cuffed. So they couldn't fight with their hands. They had to be able to fight with their feet. There's actually an old capoeirista, or a capoeirista is a practitioner of capoeira. But our capoeiristas have an old proverb which says the hands were made to, de to create, but the feet were made to destroy. And that's based off the fact that the legs are more powerful than the arms. And then also, they use their feet in their martial art. They do use their hands also. They do use throws and punches and elbows, but mainly they kick. So what happened was the slaves had to take their martial art and they had to disguise it of course them being slaves they weren't allowed to practice martial arts because of course that would be seen as a threat so what they had to do is disguise it so it looks like a dance and it's done to music they have what's called a hoda or a circle and so capoeiristas will stand around in a circle with two players inside the two players inside will be fighting, but it looks like dancing, similar to what I'm doing now. And the people outside will be playing music. Something maybe similar to what you're about to hear. And I'll play a couple of them just so you can hear it. But they use percussion. They use a berimbau. Um, a berimbau is a stringed instrument that they would use. Let's see. So, looking at these dances, I've trained capoeira myself. I didn't do it for a long time. As some of you know, mainly I do Thai boxing and judo. Um, but I did do capoeira and also some Filipino stick fighting. But I did do capoeira for a short while because I've got a good friend who teaches it. And I'm really liking the dances that Lockwood added because these are real capoeira techniques. For example, in this particular dance, that kick he just did was called a mea lua. 
And the backflip is a makako. This front thrust kick is called bensao. And so you can kind of see how he's moving. And if you look at it from the standpoint of fighting, you can see the strikes. You can see the kicks. You can see side steps and dodges. But when this is done to music, it looks like a dance. And that's the whole point. So that spin kick is actually called a melua de compasso. The basic dance or the basic movement, which is this long step back you've seen him do, this is called the Jenga. And the Jenga is like a boxer's fighting stance. Everything that they do, all of their motions comes from the Jenga. And so from the Jenga, you'll see him doing the cartwheel, which is called Au. And the moving along the ground, this particular ground move they're doing is a negativa hole, which is basically a transition from one move to the other. And it looks nice and fluid and it looks dancey, but it is way more than a dance. So now you see Cash and I, and we're at my gym. And this gym is public, you guys can check it out. But anyway, this is what a hoda would look like. So you'd have several players standing in a circle around us, playing the music that you hear. And you've got the two players in the middle of the circle. And basically we're having a sparring match. In friendly circles, the matches are kept friendly and you're actually not trying to hit the other person. So consequently, if you're both moving to the rhythm of the music and are experienced enough, you can go through an entire session without getting hit. Now, in the less friendly circles, they are really going in. They're trying to destroy each other. And uh, again, this is done to the music. So the music you hear is generally played by a bitter and bow, which is a string instrument. There's also percussion. The music that they're playing at the beginning of the uh, of the Rio event, that's samba, which comes from simba or simba de hora, which is actually an African rhythm. The music is done in this rhythm, and the interesting or the uh, the fighting is done in this rhythm. And the interesting thing about it is the cadence of the fight is dictated by the rhythm. So the faster the music plays, the faster the fighters are moving and fighting. Really, really cool. Another unique thing about the music is that it can be used for a lot of different things. You'll also have people in addition to the music or to the, the playing, you'll have people singing. And so the lyrics can be about historical facts. It's about legendary capoeiristas. It's about a bunch of different things, basically whatever they wanted to sing about, but it's generally related to either Brazil or the capoeira. They would also use it as a warning. So they might spontaneously change the lyrics and warn the people in the circle of danger so they knew something was coming. Because again, this had to be disguised as a dance. The slave masters did not know and were not intended to know that they were actually training and learning how to fight. So music ties into the art. It's intrinsic, intrinsic to the practice of capoeira. When you train the art, they actually will teach you how to play also. So in addition to learning the strikes and the kicks and all the acrobatic movements, you'll learn how to play the drums. You learn how to play the bit and bow. It is a really, really cool cultural experience. Later along Capoeira's timeline, it became more of a gangster's art. And so it's associated with a criminal element. Because of that, people still weren't publicly practicing capoeira. And so all the capoeirista fighters were given nicknames. For example, my nickname was Besta, which means beast. So yeah, I, I'm literally a beast. But uh, they give them nicknames. That way, nobody knew who was practicing the art. So if somebody heard, well, yeah, Best I got into a fight or Best I's been training, unless you're in my circle and know who Best I is, then you have no way of connecting any of that to me. But yeah, these are the three that I've seen so far. Dance of Strength, Dangerous Dance, and uh, Capoeira. Is it Capoeira Dance? Really, really cool. 
I'm glad Lock Lockwood put these in there. So good job making this a part of the uh, the Rio update. And I guess that's about all, guys. So you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, turn on notifications. That way you're notified whenever I upload new content. Tell your friends to do it. Tell your friends to tell their friends to do it. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to do it.